hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add one to many field in Odoo so we have hospital management module installed in the database and if I go to the appointments menu appointments menu here we have the form view for the appointment so what I'm going to do is that I'll create a one to many field inside the appointment model so you may think what is one to many field in Odoo so to show you a sample I'll go to the sales application and if I open any of the quotation here you can see we have a field called order lines where I can add multiple products like this so similarly we will be adding a one to many field inside our hospital module that is inside the appointments so let's see how we can do that so along with learning one to many field we will be learning about notebook and pages in Odoo so in order to define one to many field we need an extra model so if I jump back to PyCharm inside custom add-ons we have OM hospital and here I have defined the appointment model so what I'll do is that I need to define an extra model so here I'll define hospital appointment lines. I'll name it as hospital appointment line and the newly created model I'm creating in the same file or you can create a separate file, it's no problem. Here I'll create in the same file, hospital appointment lines. I can add a description for the model. I'll give the description as hospital appointment lines. So I have just defined the model here. I don't need to import in the init because it's already imported. So the model definition is done now what i have to do i have to add the security for the field so i'll duplicate this line by clicking ctrl d and i'll change the name to access id to access hospital appointment lines it's lines or i can you can give line that is better i believe hospital appointment line so here i'll give access hospital appointment line the name also i'll add a line model is model underscore hospital appointment underscore line so i have defined the security for that newly created model now i need to add the field so in the newly creating one to many i'm adding a field to select product for example the patient visited the doctor and at the ongoing state the doctor consulted the patient and he need to prescribe some medicine so in order to prescribe those medicine i'll use this one to many field so here i'll add product id fields dot many to one field so here i'll use product dot product model which is odoo product model i'll give string as product then what else i need how much quantity the product has to be delivered so i'll add a field called quantity fields dot integer field or let's say float field we can use a float field the float field is like like i can put the values like 1.5 2.5 etc the string i'll give us quantity quantity so i have just added two fields so here i have defined two fields which is product id and quantity so as it is a one to many field i need one more many to one field here i'll specify appointment id and here i'll create a many to one field to this model hospital dot appointment and here i'll put the name as appointment so simply i have defined first the main field inside one to many is this one we have to create a many to one field to the parent model so considering keeping this as parent model and creating one to many so to the parent model from the line you need a many to one field so we have done with this one so let's see what happens so i have done so far now what i have to do let me create something so the model is done field is added now i'll just add a view for this model let's see so that you will understand the one to many field much better so i'll copy the appointment views dot xml and here i'll paste appointment lines i'll put the value as appointment lines view appointment line views dot xml and let me import this inside the manifest file appointment line 
views dot example so i have added it inside the manifest here i have defined i just need only the tree view i'll add the name of instead of appointment appointment lines as i need editable tree view i'll put editable top is added now i'll change this action name appointment line action name has to be updated which will be action hospital appointment line model is hospital dot appointment dot line i need only three i'll give you like this create an appointment line and what also field i have i have appointment id then i have product id inside the model then qty for quantity so simply i have defined a tree view for the newly created model so hospital appointment line was our model so we have created a action window action for that model as well as a tree view simply i have created now what i'll do i'll create a menu so after appointments i'll create a menu called appointment lines so let's do that so here i have appointment menu i'll duplicate this and here at this position menu appointment line i'll rename the menu as appointment lines menu front desk will be the root menu and action is action hospital appointment line simply i have added new file defined an action defined a tree view and added a menu let's see what happens at the moment so i have restarted the service now let's jump into the ui and upgrade the Uru mates module which is om hospital module now you can see the module is getting upgraded and we will check the log there is no issues everything is good and clear the log is fine now if i come back to hospital here we will have a new model called appointment line you can see we have appointment product and quantity so simply we have created a new model and just this is not needed every time so to understand the working of one to many field i have just added this one now we will come back to appointment itself so what we are trying to do here we need to add the one to many field so now what i'll do here inside the appointment model i'll define a one to many field so i'll name it as appointment line ids so similar to many to many field which can hold multiple values we have to end the one to many field also with ids so appointment line ids equal to fields dot one to many we are creating one to many field then we have to specify the core model name so the core model i will copy the newly created model name i have entered it here then you have to specify the relational field so here we already created a relational field called appointment id which is a many to one field to the parent model to this model so i'll copy this appointment id i will put it over here so first the core model then the relational field that's it then you can give a string like i'll put lines or prescription you can put anything so we have just defined the one to many field in Uru. now let's upgrade and see if everything is okay so far i'll just go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade the hospital module so here you can see the module starts upgrading everything is fine there is no issues now i'll come back the next step what we have to do at the form level we have to define the field so let's see how we can add the newly created field in the view so we have to add it inside the appointment views.xml so here we have the appointment form view so here inside the group tag or after the group tag what i'll do i'll define field name equal to what was our field name one too many field name it's appointment line id so i'll just put it here you can put like this either you can directly close you can just put it like this appointment line ids so i have just restarted and let me upgrade i'll duplicate the tab and in the duplicated tab i'll upgrade the module i'm upgrading the om hospital module after adding the field to the view now if i refresh you can see a tree view is coming over the form where i can select 
this is not needed i will select the product i can enter the quantity add a line i can select product enter the quantity so a tree view is rented over here so this is the one to many so actually you have to define one to many like not like this right now when i put like this empty what it will do is that it will look for system like here i'm just defining like this so normally here i have to define a tree view like inline tree view i have to define so as i'm not defining the tree view for the one to many it takes the available tree view for the one to many that's why this is automatically coming like the one to many model which is what is the one to many model hospital appointment line the source system will look for a tree view of one to many so like here we do, we are not defining inline tree view so system will be taking the available tree view and it is showing here let's see what happens if i define a tree view here inside the form view i'll define a one to many tree tree and from here i'll just copy these two fields product id and quantity i'll put it here i'll just put it here i'll just restart so here you can see previously appointment product and quantity was coming now if i upgrade the appointment column will get disappeared because in the newly added one to many tree i have only product id and quantity so let me refresh you can see only i have product and quantity over here so you can see upon clicking add a line it pops up because i don't give editable attribute here so you have to give editable bottom so if you don't give editable bottom attribute for the one to many on clicking add an item it will give a pop-up it will it was giving a pop-up so i'll add editable bottom here so that the pop-up won't be coming so let me restart and let's upgrade so if i upgrade now the module is getting upgraded and if i refresh and if i click on add a line you can see i can directly select the product from here so to the one to many i have added three products you can see the same data if you go to this menu also here you can see you have three lines in the duplicated tab if i go to appointments here i have three lines which i can see in the appointment line menu also so if i delete it from here hit on save and if you refresh here you will not see so here this is the or let me take which has some patient we have some lot of appointments so we didn't add so here you can see we have ap0018 actually we should have added that reference field to the tree view so let me add that rather than keeping for it's already here but yeah maybe no why it's not coming hospital appointment so let me see which tree view is rented currently edit list view it's empty view hospital appointment why this is not rentering so let me check that and find view hospital tree ensure that id is not duplicate yeah this is what's the problem here you can see we have got two records with same id so that's why the previous like here inside the original file i have defined this id but when i have duplicated the id got duplicated and our tree view got disappeared like duplication of id should not happen inside same module so let me upgrade again I'm upgrading the hospital module module is upgraded now if I come back to appointments HMS appointments you can see the original tree view is back I can see the reference here so here we have AP 0090 with MT one to many so what I'll do is that from the appointment lines menu new what I have to select AP 0019 ap0019 is not shown because it's searching on a different field so i have to search more we will come to it right now i'm not able to search with other reference field so here i will select ap0019 i have selected to ensure that if you see i'm clicking on ap0019 which is this record 
I'll add a product called cabinet with doors quantity 5. So if I click outside, the record has been saved and it will appear over here. If I just refresh, you can see the record is coming here. So that's how the one to many is working. We will have a separate model and in the new model, I will have a many to one field to the parent model. And in the parent model, I'll define a one to many field. I'll specify the core model. I'll specify the relational many to one field, which is coming from the bottom to the top. Then I have to give a string. So whenever I add a record here, it's coming here. And if I specify the value to that many to one field, it will be appearing on that record also. If I select here, AP0015, then quantity, I have selected the appointment with number 15. So if I go to appointment with 15, you will see it's getting added here. So that's the working of one to many field. So similar to one to many tree, here you can see where we have defined a one to many tree here. Similarly, you can define the one to many form also. So form inside form, I can define sheet. Then inside sheet, I'll add a group. Then inside the group, you can add these two fields. So I can define one to many tree or one to many form inside. So as editable bottom is given, always it will open the record in the line. So this is how the working of one to many field in Odoo. At the view level, we will be giving like this. And in the Python, we just define a new model. And here we have defined the one to many field. So that's all about the working of one to many field. If you have any doubts, feedback or suggestion, you can ask us directly at the email odoomates at gmail.com and you can connect us over the social medias like LinkedIn. You can search for us odoomates in LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So that's all about this video. Feel free to connect us in all the above links and let us know your valuable feedbacks in the comment section. Please hit the like button and share with the videos with your Odoo friends. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.